Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm De Deputy Director here at KITP. Uh, the first thing we always ask is for how many people is it the first time in this building here? Yeah. Wow, great. A half. It's always a half, <laughs> as we always say. <laughs> okay, so um, first, uh, something about KITP programs. So we run uh, 10 to 12 sometimes more, long-term research programs uh, every year. Uh, so this depends on input from the community, from ideas from you as the community. And you can make proposals usually uh, through the website, KITP. Usually they go in in the fall. We just picked 12 research programs for 2024-25. So, the next round will be for the period 2025-26 through summer 2026. So uh, if you want to know more about this process, besides the website, you can talk to me, you can talk to Director Lars Bildston, all the permanent members of KITP, and former advisory board members. Uh, Nandini is here somewhere, so huh? she was on the advisory board. Centaur, you were on the advisory board, right? You were not. Oh, we'll get you. <laughs> uh, are there any other former advisory board members here? Yeah. Okay, so you can talk to Nandini as well or find other advisory board members. We have a, a KITP code of conduct that's posted in the hallway, so please take a minute to read that. We thank the NSF for supporting this conference and uh, I sh we should, everyone should thank the organizers of the conference, so that's Silke Bule Passion, Taylor Hughes, Chimial C, and Sento Todadri, and in particular, Chimial uh, led this, right? Was the lead coordinator for the conference. So I think everyone should, should thank all of those people. <laughs> While I'm at uh, thanks, like uh, we should thank uh, Craig Kunimoto's in the back there. He's the head of IT, makes everything work smoothly. <laughs> And Alina, who's behind the scenes up there somewhere, who's uh, fantastic at her job. And Claudia, who's also out doing <laughs> emailing participants about changes in the program, which Tamir will tell you about at the beginning. Everything is recorded unless the speaker asks to opt out. So please use the microphones for questions. There are microphones there, there, and someone will bring a microphone around you could identify your name and affiliation that helps particularly young people watching. The timing to leave a space for questions is about the only rule we have for KTP conferences. So half the time again is allowed for questions. So you have 30 plus 15 in your talks. So please, um, we try to honor that and the first uh, discussion the first uh, leader, session leader, who's Jen. Huh, hi, Jen. We just ran a teachers' conference on Saturday, so <laughs> Jim Yao and Jen uh, led that, so long time no see. <laughs> um, so uh, you'll be responsible for setting the standard to make that work for the rest of the week. <laughs> the speakers, uh, there's information in your packets, KTP packets for downloading your talks online. Uh, these were emailed to you by Doug Erdley. So if you need help or any questions, uh, contact Doug for that. The staff will also be wearing name tags if you need help. This wireless access, we ask you use uh, Edaron for wireless access. Um, during the breaks for the refreshments, lunches, dinners and all that, it's important you wear your name tags because we have like 70, 80 people in the building at any given time, including another program who will like to eat your food. So wear your name tags. Parking is in lot 10. That's that one there to the north towards the mountains. On the top floor, go up to top floor, floor five, and use the kiosk. And at the kiosk, choose VIP parking, and you can park there. Uh, if you get stuck outside after 5 p.m. when the doors close, 
there's a big wooden door to the west towards the main part of the campus, that side of the building, where you can sneak in because the caterers use that. If you plan to bring a family, spouse, children to the conference dinner, please let Claudia know because she needs a count of the number of people coming to the dinners and pay her. The shuttle will leave promptly at the end of the day after the last talk or dinner shuttle for the Best Western. And there's a sign-up sheet at the registration desk if you need a shuttle to Santa Barbara Airbus, um, the Santa Barbara Airport, or Galita Amtrak on the last day of the conference. Turn off your cell phones, that should be obvious. And uh, I'm going to pass it to Chimiao for an announcement about a program change. So have fun, looks like a great conference, and I'll be listening to some of the talks. Thank you, Mark. Um, so I'm Chimiao Si from Rice University. I'm one of the uh, organizers of the conference. Welcome. Uh, Really, I only wanted to make two announcements. One is that due to unexpected circumstance, we had to change uh, a slightly Monday's program. Basically, the Fan Ang's talk is canceled, and all the other talks shift by one. That, that's the operation that uh, we're going to perform today. Uh, the second announcement is that in the packet, you'll see uh, the poster, list of posters with the numbers, and uh, we've just quickly put down the numbers on the board. Some of you have already put your poster uh, uh, up. Uh, in that case, please move your poster to the number that, uh, uh, that's uh, according to the book. And if your poster is not listed in the booklet, uh, there are a couple, I think three or four that's left over. Just pick any one of those beyond the number 24. So that's that's pretty much it. Jen, the photo. Okay, great. So I think we're almost just about ready to start the first session.